That was uh, the Pan African Plaza built by Libya Gaddafi during the administration of Samuel Kayodo. But you know, we fought war for 14 years, 14 years of civil conflict. During the war three, United Nations came to Liberia and the structure of the building was used as a UN headquarters, United Nations Peacekeeping Force headquarters. That is uh, United Nations headquarters, as you can see there. You can videotape it. So, all right. This is. Oh, there you can't. You can't come in. You can't come in. But you, you can go in. You can go up to the gate. United Nations. You can go down there. You can go down there. Just I just want to be closer to the building. The other side. I think the other side. And on our right here, that is a. This is the Moravia City Hall right here on our right. The Moravia City Hall. I want to point out the architecture. See that black stone yeah. right there? Oh, that stone right there. There's a uh, Liberian masonry, and that black stone is typical. Is, is indigenous to Liberia only. You yes. know, yeah. That black stone. You see the decor, and a lot of other places are made by that black stone right there. So it, the the architecture in Liberia is like one of a kind in the world. You know, as far as like stone masonry and stuff like that. Yes. But I want to talk about the uh, Pan African Plaza here for a minute. We're going to start, we're going to start right here. Let me see. My, okay. Now, the Pan, uh, the Pan African Plaza, this was actually built back in the 70s, right? You want to stand up uh, and turn around so we can see it? No, Pan African Plaza, built back in the 70s, right? This was supposed to be the headquarters of uh, the OAU and all these other organ Pan African organizations back in the days, okay? Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and also they had a, a, a military installation, a military installation that was going to be the African peacekeeping headquarters, right? Also that came out of this was uh, an African Development Bank. But after the yeah. 1980 coup, right, the African Development Bank decided to move to Ivory Coast, okay? Uh, um, what was I saying? The uh, um, the OAU was supposed to be the preemptive organization for the continent. When the OAU had a convention here in 1979, you know, yeah. 79, right? Yeah, 1979. Yeah. 1979. That 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 whole event was written out of history, you know. And people ask me, "Well, I never heard of that before." There's a reason why you never heard of that before, because that in that convention, right? That was a buildup from uh, uh, two decades, right? From Kwame Nkrumah, the Garveyites, yeah. all these other people and everything like that led to that. There were many other conventions, the Casablanca group, the Manga Barbary Mon group and everything yes. like this. But when, when they met here in 1979, that was going to be the plan to finally liberate Africa and unify the continent under one government, one government, yes. one, government one currency, currency. Yes. one everything, you know? <laughs> the CIA got in here, right? Cause the rice riots, you know, try to sabotage, right? Yeah. There's a year later, you had the 1980 coup, and the country, and bless, like I said, a lot of our people in, in Africa, uh, 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 well, well uh, we have to learn is um, patience and expectations. It looked like there was parts of Black Africa that was doing well, you know, like here you had the Congo, they're doing well, and all over Africa, uh, the poor Africa did not see. Uh, uh, the long-term uh, benefit of this Pan-African movement that we were, they were trying to do, you know? It was only the top educated people, right? So uh, in the future, the Pan-African movement has to be more transparent and more uh, uh, to the average person, where the average layman can see immediate effects of what we're doing. Because long-term, is uh, you only have a certain amount of time before they say, you know, something, you know, we'll try something else, and next thing you know, have a coup. A coup in Africa can happen anytime, any place. It can happen in the best, most developed countries in Africa. As long as there are people that feel like they're left behind, you know, we're always going to be vulnerable to civil strife and coups. Okay, so so we are finished with uh, Sinko. We are on Capitol Hill. Capitol Hill comprises of the executive mansion office of the, the three branches of government. 
the three branches of government, the executive, the judiciary, and the legislator. Currently, ahead of us, on our left, that is the Minister of Foreign Affairs. On our left, the, the building on our left, that is the Minister of Foreign Affairs. What you just said is the same system in the United States. Yes. That's why I keep telling people of what American government did here. They brought them three branches of government. Yes. It's the same system. As this is people. this is why in Africa they call Liberia small America. Thank you. I'm glad small you said America. that. The French people call it petty American. I've been trying to break that point. Yes, no, yes. That's, that's a it. very good point. Thank that's you. it. That's it. What the yes. French say, dirty American? Pe uh, uh, petty American. Petty. American. Small yeah, America. Small. Okay. But my bird never had American uh, banks and Wall Street banks here. Don't oh, but but that we, we, no, they had that. that. Chase Manhattan Bank was here. Chase came in 1976. Chase Manhattan, Manhattan Bank. Chase Manhattan Bank. Chase Manhattan Bank on Almond yeah. and, and Broad Street. But they ain't come yeah, since like 1971, yeah. 1973. But it's still American bank. Yes, but all these other countries in Africa. Like uh, the like, wh why do you think uh, we was in Vietnam, right? We not we not doing that today. Amer American banks. We not doing that. That was my mom first job. Yeah, we not doing that today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I almost be a chase my hat. Have a nice day yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. And they left during the war. Yeah. We're not doing that. Yeah. And chase is all around. We go to America and see chase bank everywhere. And have no argument. Yeah. That was my parents' bank, Chase Manhattan Bank. Yeah.